Zito? Yeah. Johnson? Yeah. McKinley? Yeah. Lebowski? You. Four prisoners missing for us. Go see what the hell's happening over there. Okay. Come on, get in there. Hurry up. Come on, come on, get the lead out. I'll give those guys another five minutes. Huh. Comes two of them now. Who are these two guys? Hey, what do you think they'll do with us? Two more for the stockade. Ains with a wall, and the black guy's a killer. Don't worry about it, kid. You just stick with me. Sergeant Abrams, report to B Company CQ. Special services are putting on a show at 1900 hours in the C Company mess hall. Private Boop, Pitsini, Crowder, Son of a bitch. We get our asses shot off at the front and those friggin' deserters get locked up in a nice safe stockade. Three squares a day and no problems. Yeah, only then they get shot. <laughs> what do you mean, shot? They get a court martial, sure. Right, you but then what with down. lawyers and appeals? Before you know it, the war will be over. They get off with their ass and paddle. <laughs> How's it feel to have a yellow streak down your back? Feel good, huh? Just a redneck bastard, kid. Who are you calling a redneck bastard, boy? I accidentally killed a lot of my size and just like you. You want to try for two? They can only shoot me once. What the hell's going on over there? Move it! Glad you guys could make it. Canfield? Fred Canfield. Get in the truck, Canfield. Haynes? Here. Hurry up, Haynes. Get your ass in there. Hey, Tony! Tony! Can I still get in on the pool? The guy in my company says you're taking bets on your own execution. Hi, this is the third time they locked me up, and the third time I come out smelling like a rose. They say you're giving odds at three to one. <laughs> He's at 20. If they don't shoot you, you owe me 60 bucks, yeah, right? Yeah, they shoot me. I want cash. No IOU. Alexander and Lamberti report for the carpool on the double. Hey, Tony, what are you in for this time? <laughs> I'm in for life. Murder. Sorry, buddy, too late. Up, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, detail, ho, say it, put. <laughs> Get in the truck, you bastard. What you got there? Personal belongings. Search him. And hurry up, we haven't got all day here. See you too, soldier. First noble lying, sir. What else you got? What are you, walking Woolworths? Empty all your pockets. Sergeant? Sir? All prisoners present and accounted for, Lieutenant. We're ready to move out. It's been a last minute change of orders, Sergeant. I got another one for you. There's nobody else on the list, sir. Uh-huh. It's an officer. An officer? That's right. Going with them? Those are the orders. Well, let's go get them. An officer will give that bunch of misfits just what they need. A touch of class. Who is he, sir? Lieutenant Robert Yeager, U.S. Army Air Force. Seems he's one of the best fighter pilots we got. The only problem is he likes to use his fighter to go see his girlfriend in London. First time he did it, he was reprimanded. Second time, he was grounded for three months. And this time, he's being sent up to division for court-martial. Lieutenant Yeager. What? This way, sir. You men are dismissed. Come on, load up those trucks and get them the hell out of here. Come on, let's go. Move it. On the double, Flanagan. Come on, move your ass, Hickerson. Get in, we're moving out. Start it up. Nancy, get that truck out of the way. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. All right, we're moving out. Get in and start up. Close that tailgate.
Why, you in a hurry to get to the stockade? All right, who took my goddamn watch? I'll give you all of 30 seconds to find it, so work it out. Get a reward, Sarge. You son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, what the hell's going on? We got a flat, Sarge. That's just great. That's just Jesus H. Great. All right, you two, get out here and change the tire. You and you, get out here! Hurry up! What are you waiting for, Canfield? You fix it, Sergeant. I'm having my tea. Okay. Uh. Tea time's over. You get that? Now go fix the tire. What the hell you think you're doing, Haynes? Pissing, Sarge. You want to piss? Piss in your pants. Now get to work. I can't hold it in. Virginia didn't hear it right. Go do it on his pants. Oh, areas crawling with crowds. Keep your eyes open. You got something to say, Lieutenant? This is my show, sir. You got any objections? You can put them in writing. Damn, they wallowed these nuts on. You guys finished yet? <laughs> then pull the rag out. If there are any crowd stragglers out there, I don't fancy being used for target practice. How long you been in? So wait, Canfield, make sure it's good and tight. <clears throat> Ready to move out. Get in the Jeep. All right, Sarge. Hit the deck! Take cover! again. Get in the way! <laughs> 
Jack. Drop it. I said drop it. I think the rain stopped. Hey, I like that. Them Swiss banks have mucho dinero. How the hell am I supposed to tear down this damn engine if we ain't got no toolbox? Well, you'll think of something. Come on, bro, you know how to turn a screw. <laughs> if it's tools you want, your troubles are over. So you wouldn't have two number 12 lock nuts and a hunk of tire tape, would you? Coming up. I don't believe it. <laughs> Holy cow, it's the miracle worker. You're right. Nick, you're a damn supply depot. Is there anything you don't have? Ah, <laughs> broads. But if you want some filthy pictures... <laughs> Take a look. Cover me. Hey, you want to bet? Ten bucks even says there's a crowd. 
problem there. Okay, it's a bet. Okay, baby. Here we go again. on this and I'll chop it off too. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's take a break. Nick, see if you can hustle up some chow. Like Did you scare all the crowds away? <laughs> My sure, Lieutenant. I'll go talk it over with the cook. Man, I'm so hungry, I'm seeing double. Ho, oh, ho, now watch it. If old Bongo Bongo here is hungry, we're in trouble. Ha, ha. When his ancestors talked about having friends for dinner, they meant what they said. Hey, Bongo. Hey, Bongo. Pearl's the best. Good lean meat. He's tender. <laughs> <laughs> Lay off me. <laughs> when I was in Chicago working for Big Mike Banyan, niggers like you shine shoes. Oh, but those nigger girls. I said, can it? You lay your hands on me. I'll cut you in two. I'd much prefer it if we could avoid this racial bullshit. Gentlemen, lunch is served. <laughs> oh, see, Ration. They couldn't you work Beggars another miracle? Beggars can't be choosers. Eat and be happy. Lieutenant? Hi, Kinnick. Welcome. And the rest is for you. Yeah. One dollar. Put it on the bill? Okay. But at 10% a day, it adds up, huh? Thank you, Lieutenant. I didn't really want to hurt him, but there's always some clown trying to see how far he can push me. Huh. That's why they locked you up? Yeah. Some sergeant pushed me over the edge. Hey, Nick. How about some salt? Salt. Salt? Salt, salt. Bever? No, no, no. No, it makes my asshole itch. Well, I guess that's why wars get started. People just don't seem to know how to. Live together. Hey, Tony. Did you really know Big Mike? I was his right-hand man. <laughs> I knew you were on the ball. That bankroll, huh? War don't change men, Nick. You know the score. You find a sucker. Yeah. Even in combat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lieutenant, we got far to go to the border, sir? About 30 miles. Here, take a look at the map. Switzerland's right there. Now we're about here. So we've got two ways to go. Uh, let's see here. Once we get to Elsendorf, I think we'll be all right.
Bist du allein hier? Ja. Ich war ein Gefangener. Und ich bin geflohen. Und? Ich bin waffenlos. Wie heißt du? Gefreiter Adolf Sachs. Waffennummer 1040. What is all this mumbo jumbo about? That mumbo jumbo was his name and number. That he was a prisoner. That he escaped. And that he is unarmed. So kommst du herein. So, so. Nächste schnell, du. I knew a crowd would be in here. And damn it, he cost me all of ten bucks. Sorry, old buddy, you'll just have to go. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Tony. Well, what the hell are you gonna do with him? Nothing. He might be able to lead us safely to the Swiss border. Was ist der sicherste Weg nach der Schweiz? Alle Dorfe im Umkreis sind in deutscher Hand. Der sicherste, aber längere Weg ist durch den Wald. Danke, Adolf. Now listen, he says our safest bet is through the forest. It will be all right. Watch it, Kartoffel. Any double cross and the first bullets for you. Seem pretty bad. Damn, they're all over the place. We'll never get through this clearing without catching a bullet. We got two choices, man. Either we get it in the ass from our own guys or from the crowds. I want to go home. What? I want to go home. Okay, bro. When the firing starts, I'm going to put a bullet through your skull. Well, laugh, you son of a bitch. You'll get yours. That would be a mistake to kill me now. I can only be of use to you if... if I am alive. What a... He speaks English. Do you want to give our guys a hand? I'm pretty comfortable right here. Do this, huh? Uh, yeah. Hey, uh, take it easy. We just met. I'm scared. Burl, does that make you feel any better? Now, I'm gonna get you through this war. I guarantee you that. You got that? I can't hear you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. lost. Now, I... Okay! We don't want to hear the damn story of your life! Hand up!
gibt es ein anderes Werk hier raus? Nein. This guy speaks good English. He does? Wonderful. Okay, let's go. We gotta get out of here. Lieutenant, I can lead you to the other side of the forest, close to the frontier. I just gotta go. All right, go. Okay. You're gonna take us prisoner, Adolf. Okay. Put your weapons down. Bye, baby. Soldaten und ein Offizier. Woher kommst du? Aus der Saint Michel Abschnitt. Wir haben eine Abteilung überrascht und dies sind die Überlebenden. Wohin bringst du diese Amerikaner? Ich bring sie ins Hauptquartier zum Verhör, Herr Oberstumbaführer. Der neue Befehl lautet: Keine Gefangenen. Die Wehrmacht hat keinen solchen Befehl erhalten, Herr Oberstumbaführer. Scheiße, die Wehrmacht. Das sind doch keine Soldaten, sondern nur Feiglinge. Was hast du hier? Trouble. Oberstuhlführer! Ja, Herr Oberstuhlführer! Erschießen Sie diese Männer hier! Kommt mit! Ich muss Sie daran erinnern, dass diese Männer Gefangene der Wehrmacht sind und nicht der Waffen-SS! Zum Teufel mit der Waffen-SS! Wieso hast du eine amerikanische Maschinenpistole? Erschießen Sie auch diesen Verräter! Wagenkolonne fährt weiter! Befehl ausführen und nachkommen!
right here, Lieutenant. All right, let's tray these apple strudels in for homemade apple pie, shall we? Looks like the Flyboys have decided to join the war. Hey, those are our guys! Go, 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 Like the fly boys did a pretty good job. Yep. Let's see if we can't find a truck that still runs. It's upset. Why do we keep on with this hopeless war? Bet you didn't talk like that when you invaded Poland. Can you change that 48 to a 6? Is the Pope Catholic? After 14, I was forging my report cards. <laughs> okay. Lieutenant, yeah? there's an arsenal here. I know. Oh. Listen. Map, sir. OK. Let me see. We're here. There's another one that won't start up. Damn. Hey, Burl, take a look at this one. Forget it, the transmission's shot. Burl, that one's practically new. Like the kid found a truck that works, huh? <laughs> hey, there's a whole bunch of uniforms and guns back there. Hell, I thought you were a damn crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, Tony, Burl, dress up as Germans and let's get out of here. Hey, Lieutenant, how come you speak German better than Adolf? Because I had a German governess when I was a kid. Where are you from? Minneapolis. A governess? Your old man must have some dough. No, not really. Lieutenant, I got a great idea. In Minneapolis. I know this club with gambling upstairs. You put up maybe two, three hundred grand. A guy like you on the ball, you can't lose. Well, I'm not really that much on the ball. Ich bin ja so müde, Mann. Du auch? Was gibt's hier?
it's beautiful here. Yeah, it would be even more beautiful if we were already in Switzerland. Hey, Nick, you got anything yet? What's the matter? Girls. Oh. What's going on? Tell Women. Hey, what? Tits, ass, everything. Soak it in, Burl. They're actually women. I, I couldn't even remember what they looked like. But the German wax. Hey, look at them Germans too, huh? The camera. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? There's a tendon naked of broads back there. You better believe it. They're shooting at us. What is going on? They say there are ten naked women down there. Snow White. First with guns. Don't shoot. I'll go and see what they want. Great, Adolf. What do you think they want? They want us. If it was a search party, there would be more of them. Okay. Unless they're stupid, they're gonna want to know what the hell you're doing here. I'll tell them I ran out of petrol. And I slept here. And if they don't fall for that? Then I surrender. Look, I'm fed up with seeing all Germans being killed. Don't believe the bastard, Lieutenant. Okay, Otto. You go ahead. Christ, go around and Yes, I said we should keep going on foot.
It's my baby. You all right, Burl? A lot better before. Nothing serious. Just a mosquito bite. <laughs> I told you, Lieutenant, never trust a crowd. That's just a mosquito bite. You tell them, Ken. Feel they'll believe you. Yeah. Uh, Joe Lewis? Jesse Owens? Louis Armstrong? We know you're not Germans. Thank God for that. We heard you talking before. Which one of you is Lieutenant Sykes? He is. Um. I am Veronique. Right. I'm uh, Lieutenant Sykes, sir. Have you anything for me? Um, yes, sir. Voici Véronique. Yes, this is it. Oh, good. I was beginning to think you will never get here. We waited all night at a drop zone. We heard your plane's engines, but uh, apparently you did not see our bonfires. Uh, right, sir. We landed down by the river. Uh huh. Was that you firing this morning? Uh, that's right, sir. That's how uh, one of our men got hurt. Huh. And the others? Um, um, the others, sir, this is all there's left of us. Mm -hmm. It was uh, already a risky mission with only seven men. Yeah. It will be even more difficult now that you're only five. Yeah. But we'll let Colonel Buckner make the final decision. Yes, sir, Colonel Buckner, he knows what to do, sir. Mm -hmm. Shall we go now? Um, yes, sir. Bon, alors, uh, you and your men will stay across there, huh? Okay. René, accompagne les. Tony, across the bed. Uh, you, you stay with me. Canfield. You take care of your wound. Our hospital is over there. Do you have a good doctor? No, no doctor, just Nicole, our nurse. Nicole, je t'amène un Américain, occupe-toi de lui. Eh bien, vas-y, elle va pas te manger. He's not going to eat you. Marcel, Robert, allez vous occuper du logement des Américains. Ça va, allez. Vous êtes Américain? Mm -hmm. Asseyez-vous. Do you speak English? A little, yes. You're kind of young, aren't you? Age is not important when you fight for something in which you believe. N'est-ce pas? Well. I guess so. You are very young, too. And you volunteered yourself for a, such a dangerous mission. <laughs> well... You must be very courageous. You know what I'm thinking? The French you think are where those crowds are we killed. They were Americans. <sighs> and that's why Adolf yelled, Americans, Americans. That means we killed our own men. Jesus. 
How in the hell could we know? They're not the first damn guys killed by mistake. What you Americans are planning to do is mad, of course. But I suppose your people in London know what they're doing. Yep, they do. It's worth a try, at least. You're right. It's worth a try. But excuse me, Lieutenant. There's one thing puzzling me since this morning. What? How does it happen that one of your men is black? Oh. <laughs> That's just the way he turned out. Anyhow, Colonel Buckner did pick him for the mission. Hmm? Where the hell have you been, Burl? Getting my arm fixed. And that took all day, huh? Oh, if you saw Nicole, you'd understand. And who's this broad Nicole? She's a nurse. <laughs> and the kid is in love, eh? Huh? <laughs> oh. Ooh, Matt. Mm. <laughs> what is she like, eh? <laughs> oh, mm. oh. Mm. Don't get too fond of it. We're shoving off as quick as we can. Ah, uh, nothing doing. I'm beginning to like this place. This girl must be all right. She got enough for all of us? Come on, Tony. Lay off the kid. Why, you met her yet, Bongo? <laughs> hey, Burl. I know you're in love. But how about some dibs? Hey. Damn it, Tony. Sorry, Burl. I forgot. Why should we keep on fighting? We're all on the same boat. We should try and help one another. It's really nice to see you guys in training. Because we have a train to attack. Is that what those guys we killed came here to do? That has nothing to do with us. The hell with the damn train. We're going to wait here until this Colonel Buckner shows up. We might be able to make a deal with him. Personally, I don't relish the thought of spending the rest of my life hiding out on some rock somewhere. Do you? Besides, I think it's about time we got back into this war. I'm tired of playing nursemaid to you guys. You're strong as a bull. Maybe we'll settle this in Switzerland. Hmm, maybe. Say bye bye. Look. Go on. Wanna buy? Buy? Montre. Wait a minute. Do you speak English? Uh, yes. English. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Fucking bastard. <laughs> Oh! Help! Oh! Oh! Qu'est-ce qu'il y a? My appendix. Oh! 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 You're much prettier than Betty Grable. Who is Betty Grable? <laughs> My sister. And your appendix? It's your hands, they're magic. You're... Oh, you're fooling me. Right. This damn war makes it so easy to fall in love. After all, when I lead my men into battle, myself at the front, I might be killed. Tomorrow. It's true. Yes. You shouldn't be here. You should be with your folks at home. My home. I have no home. My home was destroyed. My parents are dead. 
Like so many others. But a beauty like yours should be protected. But we need to fight. If we make it through this war, and I fall in love with you, we'll get married. And we'll have a big house with lots of kids. It's so long that I don't think of these things. Go on. And all the kids will look like you, with beautiful hair, eyes, lips. Alors, Nicole, on nous attend. J'arrive. It's time to go and meet Colonel Buckner. Listen, we'll be with each other again. Uh, I have to go. Au revoir. Allumez les balises et les phares de la voiture Allez, maniez-vous le train Plus vite days. Are here again. Glad to meet you, Colonel. I'm Veronique. At last we meet, Veronique. Uh, Lieutenant Sykes is over there. Uh, hi. Hi, Jim. Colonel. But this man... Colonel Buckner. May I talk with you in private for a moment, sir? Of course, Sykes. I'm very eager to hear what you have to say. Thank you, sir. That's about it, Colonel. That's about it? You know what you've done, God Almighty? Those men were highly trained technicians, specially chosen for this mission. And they were wearing German uniforms. And you have the guts to offer me in exchange a gang of deserters. Cutthroats. And thieves. What kind of an offer is that, Lieutenant? You don't even deserve to be called soldiers. And I'm supposed to entrust this mission to men like you. Sir? My brother's a railroad man. I helped him a lot of times. I could run a locomotive, sir. Colonel, I guarantee you we can handle it. I speak fluent German. And these men certainly have proven themselves in combat. You're out of your mind, Jaeger, if you think you can win immunity through this con game. You can think again, mister. I see. The only thing I can promise you is a firing squad. What's more without a trial? We have a problem here, Colonel. You see, I have an obligation to these men. I promised them I would take them to Switzerland. And that's what I'm going to do. What do you intend doing with me? I'll show you later. Vite, vite, là-bas! Hey, Pierre, tu as vu? Oh, mais tiens, on met du plomb. Je sais pas ce qu'ils ont vu, mais qu'est-ce qu'il y en a, hein? Mais qu'est-ce qu'ils sont en train de foutre, ces Américains? Colonel! Colonel! Would you tell me if Veronique looks for you? What must I say? Reconnaissance. <laughs> Merci bien. A tout à l'heure. A tout à l'heure. Allez, dépêchez-vous avec ces sacs de vivre. Dépêchez-vous de charger. On n'a pas de temps à perdre. Dépêchez-vous, je vous dis. Colonel, I'll give you three to one. The Allies get to Berlin in three months. We've got a hell of a ways to go yet, soldier. But try me again when Patton gets across the Rhine. Looks like it could be an SS command post, and they ought to have a whole bunch of vehicles. Whatever we decide to do, we're going to have to go in there and get us a truck. All right, we're just uh, walking in and say please, huh? Is that it? More or less. 
You just stick for me, kid. Heil Hitler! We have here two American prisoners. What should we do now? I must have a new wagon. Sehr gut, haben Sie eine genehmigt. Das spielt ja doch keine Rolle, Leutnant! Was für eine Scheiße ist das? Also, wir waren dabei, diese beiden amerikanischen Gefangene zum Verhör zu bringen, als unser Wagen bombardiert wurde. Wir sind seit zwei Tagen unterwegs und wir sind hündemüde. Wir haben keine Lust... Herr Oberleutnant! Um... Kommen Sie her! Hi, Hitler! Hitler! Was ist hier los? Überhaupt nichts, Herr Obersturmbeinführer. Ich habe hier zwei amerikanische Gefangene und ich brauche sofort einen neuen Wagen. Sie können den Wagen nehmen, aber die Gefangenen bleiben hier. Aber Herr Obersturmbeinführer... Ruhe! Ja. Bringen Sie die Gefangenen in mein Büro. Abfahren! I'm afraid that you'll lose. Hey, 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 you can't do that. Hey, hey, you better do something about this. You need me? Yeah, okay. Remember Robin Hood and the Merry Men? They all rope to car up and over. Charles Thomas Buckner, Colonel, 0628324. Private Fred Canfield. Canfield, 8735216.
radio unit located, Colonel? Bell? Charles Thomas Buckner, Colonel, 0628324. Buckner. Or is it Buckner? You are of German origin. Hmm? Then why do you keep such peculiar company? Why don't you answer? I'll tell you why. Because you are a bastard. All Americans are mongrels. Negro, Jew, Polish, Italian, Irish. <laughs> Every possible race. And your women are whores! You are all like children. Coca-Cola. Hollywood. Chewing gum. Stupid, cowardly bastards! Tell them to drop their weapons on the floor. Nicht schießen! Nicht schießen! That's what he's all for! Ihre Waffen unter den Tisch! You know, it's surprising how well these old things work. How you doing, Colonel? Yeah, just fine. Tony, are you ready for our exit? Okay, throw the rope to Burrow. Now, don't you get hung up in it. Hi, Hitler. Hi, Hitler. An awful lot of trouble just to get a hold of a truck, don't you think? You should have heard what that SS officer said about you. What did he say uh, about me? Mm -mm, no, 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 can't. No. What did he say about me? You go first. Jawohl. diagram of the railroad train in question. This car here is our main objective. It's a mobile laboratory carrying the prototype of the new V2 rocket warhead. Now the aim of the mission is to take back the gyroscope of the rocket's guidance system. Now, my men had trained for weeks on a car identical to this one. They knew every nut and bolt on it. This is the route the train will take. Here at Bouillet, it will stop to pick up two German rocket experts who are to arrive by car. Lieutenant Jaeger and I will be those experts. The French will take care of the real ones. When the train has reached this point, Beryl and Tony, with the help of the partisans, will blow this bridge. With the bridge out, the train will be forced to return to this junction. And then we'll continue along this alternate route. Once the bridge is blown, Burl and Tony will take advantage of the confusion to board the train. And during the shunting maneuvers, Tony will uncouple the armored car carrying the escort. At Poimazon, Veronique's partisans will attack the station and deviate the train toward the American lines. 
Canfield will be working with the partisans. There's an American battalion stationed 11 miles from Parmesan. What's the big deal? All they got to do is steal a damn choo-choo. <laughs> uh, any questions? What's my part in all this, Colonel? I haven't got it straight. Well, first of all, you've got a lot of documents to forge. Mm -hmm. Then you'll drive us to the train. Mm -hmm. When you see us get on the train, you'll transmit the OK to the group at the bridge. If Rene doesn't receive your message, he'll blow the bridge with the train <laughs> on it. Great. Now, any more questions? When do we start? The train will arrive at Bouillet at 13 hours tomorrow. An hour before that, the partisans will intercept the car carrying the two rocket experts. Oh! 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 said you take care you too Abiga, Peter. Cross your fingers. Ein, ein, Ihre Ausweise bitte. Alles in Ordnung, Sie können einsteigen. Bitte. Danke. Herr Major. General Tick, die Offiziere Ritter und Schäfer. Guten Tag, meine Herren. Es freut mich, Sie kennenzulernen. Zug fährt in einigen Minuten nach. Bitte, nehmen Sie Platz. Ja, Herr General, aber wir würden lieber gleich mit der Arbeit anfangen. Entschuldigen Sie, Herr Major, aber niemand darf das Labor betreten, bevor sich der Zug in Bewegung bewegt. <lacht> ja, ja, natürlicherweise, Herr Oberleutnant, natürlicherweise. <lacht> Natürlich. Train get on the bridge. 
and blow it up. Herr General, Sie fahren jetzt ab, dann können wir Ihre Arbeiten nicht, wahr? Natürlich. Aber zuerst muss ich Sie bitten, die Waffen hier abzulegen. Eine Formalität. Ja, 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 eine Formalität, Herr General. Schäfer? Ja. Majorita? Ja. Ich bin Oberst Hauser. Oberst Brenner ist in der Dunkelkammer. Er wird bald hier sein, um Ihnen behilflich zu sein. Bitte setzen Sie sich. Er hat mir bereits gesagt, dass er noch vor eins mit Ihnen zusammengearbeitet hat. Einzelheiten. Danke. Finden Sie alles, was Sie brauchen. Viel Vergnügen. Entschuldigen Sie mich bitte. Danke. Look at this plan. See this green wire? It's connected to an auto-destruct mechanism. It's a device that could blow up this whole shebang in about 15 seconds. <coughs> zu Oberst Brenner, um ihn zu begrüßen. Ja, ist gut. Oberst Brenner, Hauptmann Schäfer kommt Sie begrüßen. Schäfer. Jawohl, Herr Oberst. Es freut mich, Sie wiederzusehen, Schäfer. Entschuldigen Sie mich bitte einen Moment.
is arriving. Nick! Jaeger and Buckner are on the train. Blow the bridge up. Blast it. What a ride. Blow it up. That is easy. Halten wir. Wieso das? Der Mitteldraht ist eingestürzt. Nehmen wir sofort Kontakt mit dem Hauptquartier auf. Wir müssen um jeden Preis den Wagen mit den V2-Sprengkörpern retten. Es gibt eine Route, aber sie ist nicht sicher. Sie geht zu nah an den amerikanischen Linien vorbei. Geben Sie dem Lokomotivführer Anweisung, im Rückwärtsgang bis zum Schienenwechsel zu fahren. General. Oberst Brenner? Er ist in der Dunkelkammer. Ich sehe jetzt nach ihm. Ouais, la petite 
Omega. Hold your breath, Lieutenant. How are you doing, Colonel?
Hauser ist im Haus versteckt. Join your comrades. I'll get to the train. How are you doing, Colonel? Almost finished. Oh, for Christ's sake. I've activated the self-destruct mechanism. Hey, it stopped. What the hell happened? I stuck a pencil in there. <laughs> at the station. Nearly done. Get off here? After you. I got a couple of things to do first. Whatever you say. I didn't have a ticket anyway. Let's go. We've sailed, and the Germans are waiting for us at the station. How you doing, Colonel? Hold your breath, Lieutenant. I think I've got it out. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Interesting. That's what we came for? And now we've got to get off this train. Well, there's something I've got to do first. You go right ahead, sir. Okay, Bob. You take care, Colonel. Tom. Tom? <laughs> okay, take care, Tom.
Nicole! Nicole! 